Good morning, everyone. This is Ryan Edner with your Wednesday, April 17th morning commentary. Uh, we'll start off the day saying that the weather maps do add a little bit more rain on both the 1 to 5 and the 6 to 10 day maps this morning. So we saw a little bit of support in the overnight markets, both in corn and beans. Uh, if anything, uh, the biggest change was on the 6 to 10 day maps. Uh, what we want to point out is that rains added to those maps were mainly Iowa and East. And uh, we'll get to the importance of that later. But uh, again, with a little bit more rain, seeing a little bit more support. Uh, for corn, obviously, the most important thing, first thing this morning, will be the ethanol report. Uh, after seeing countless disappointing ethanol reports, uh, we'd like to think that maybe conditions in Nebraska have improved enough to see a rebound in that ethanol report, thinking that in previous weeks ethanol has been slow in that area due to just flat out too much rain causing a slowdown all across the board. Uh, so, we'll, again, we'll keep hopes alive that we do see an improvement from that factor right there. Crude is bounced enough where we believe you can see an improvement. So it's more of just the, can you get the corn to the ethanol plants, especially out in Nebraska, and can we see, finally see, an improvement on that report here today. Uh, also, uh, moving over to beans, also seeing uh, weather maps adding support there. Uh, it's far too early to start thinking that beans will see pressure from wet weather maps on acreage switching. Uh, we may get to that scenario in a couple of weeks, actually about two, three weeks from now. But for now, just general support should be expected in the beans. Also in beans, uh, that market still, as we mentioned yesterday, a little bit sideways. Uh, we did fall closer to the support to hold that market sideways, which is around the $9 area for July. Uh, to be a little bit more specific, the actual exact area is eight ninety six and a half. dollars uh, so if we see beans hover around there, we can still call this market sideways. And we did see, after a fun selling day yesterday, that support did step in right at $9 and, and very right around that $9 area. That is where we would expect support again today if this market comes under pressure again. Uh, wheat, we saw the most fun selling on a comparative basis in the wheat market yesterday. Uh, possibly the most un understandable market to see that selling, given that general news lately has been bearish. Also, that funds hold the smallest position, the smallest short position in wheat compared to the other grain markets. Uh, and one thing we do want to point out, again, going back to those weather maps, uh, when we say the rain falls Iowa and east, uh, the one part about this is in the 10-day forecast, Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota, uh, finally see a, a break for the next 10 days. Uh, not everyone's dry, but there is a, a pretty sizable area there that does dry out that could aid the sp uh, spring wheat planting progress uh, over the next 10 days. So we'll see if that map actually continues to be dry for that area, and we'll see if that shows up on Monday's planting progress. Uh, moving over to cattle. Where grains saw selling yesterday, adding to shorts, uh, the funds were adding to the longs in cattle. Uh, so we saw cattle with uh, active support that eased back after they eased back around 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll still say with a 26,000 higher show list, if you don't have funds back here today, uh, tough to see too many other market participants adding additional support. Also, we want to point out that not only is this week uh, seeing a plus 26,000 show list, but we're in the seasonal time frame where over the next four to six weeks, we should generally expect higher show lists from higher, uh, we see higher slaughter numbers, which means higher total number of cattle. So we should expect generally higher show lists over that time. Uh, lastly, to point out here, the cattle on feed report is tomorrow. It's uh, scheduled for two o'clock. Uh, we only have early estimates so far, but right now we have the early placements number at 103.3%. So that also, in the mix of larger numbers, adding maybe a little bit of resistance to the cattle market today, again, if funds are not seen. Uh, so that's what we have here for Wednesday. If you have a, uh, any questions, give us a call, 800-551-4626, or visit us on the web at allendale-inc.com.